So you want to come to Bryson City, North Carolina. Awesome. We're locals and we're going to show you how we would spend a weekend if we did a mountain getaway in Bryson City. We're Chris and Jaime and this is our sweet pup Bo. Two years ago, we made the leap of moving from our tiny apartment in Miami to our first home in the mountains of Bryson City. This YouTube channel is a chronicling of our journey and we hope it inspires you to make the change you've been craving right along with us. This week, we're taking a little staycation and showing you how we'd spend a weekend in Bryson City. Join us. Our first stop is the road to nowhere, and the drive is half the experience. The story of why there's an unfinished road in the middle of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is a sad one that left a lot of people from the local community displaced. Swain County made an agreement to give away a majority of its private land to the federal government so it could create Fontana Lake and the National Park. Folks had to move and cemeteries were cut off, so an agreement was made to build a road to reach it, but construction ultimately ceased. Now it's referred to as a broken promise in the middle of the forest. We'll link some great resources that tell the full story in the description to this video. This is the road to nowhere. <laughs> On the other side of this tunnel is nowhere. Is nothing. It's just <laughs> literally <the> forest. <laughs> Great Smoky Mountain National Park and a bunch of awesome trails. Um, cool little visit about like 15 minute drive. Yeah. It's from really pretty from drive. downtown and we just we happen to live on the road to nowhere. So if yes. you're visiting Bryson City for a weekend, this is a must see. Like it's imperative. You gotta walk through the tunnel. You can do a trail on the other side. It's not dog friendly and it's also freezing right now so we're not gonna do it but we wanted to bring you up here. There's kind of like cool graffiti on the walls and I some not so cool graffiti also. Cool. But, but anyways, the, cool. the walk been... through the tunnel is kind of trippy and cool. Yes. Um, weird like you echoes. echoes and... Yeah, it's 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 a fun Woo! little walk. I don't think the echoes happen. <laughs> I kind of heard it a little bit. Rainbow. Um, point <laughs> is, it's a really nice drive up here. There's some trails. Nolan Creek is on the way up here, which we shared before. And um, we'll link it right here. Up there. <laughs> That's where it is. That's where it'll be. In the ether? It's right here. Okay. Um, that's all we got. It's it's freezing. Today is a really cold, sunny, but cold day. Yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna leave this location. <laughs> Immediately. But, but that's it. It's super cool. Come see it for sure. Next stop is Mountain Layers Brewing. This locally owned brewery makes their delicious beer right here in downtown Bryson City. So if you're here for the weekend, you gotta stop in and appreciate the local beer scene. All right, we're coming to Mountain Layers, which is an amazing local brewery. It's one of our favorite. And we're gonna show you inside. Yes, it, um, they have actually probably some of my favorite beers. I'd say Mountain Layers and Innovation are probably the two most awesome breweries in, um, you know, Mountain Layers is in downtown Bryson City. Innovation is in Dillsborough and Silva, 15, 20 minutes away. But within that parameter, um, there are more breweries and those are my top two. I agree. Yeah. I think those are my top two as well. Yeah, they do some really great brews here, so. They have a dark lager right now that is <sighs> so good. So Definitely good. my choice, that's what I'm getting. We'll take you inside.
way to bury the weed, this place has a rooftop. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. That's just because <laughs> I'm used to it being cold for a while, so we haven't really come up here since... It's great weather. It is, it's fantastic. And this is the black lager we were talking about. This is delicious. You blew the tap. Mm. This always happens. We this don't... happens to me a lot. I get free half quarter, three quarter pints all the time because I blow the tap. Always. And I feel like you've kind of secondhand passed it on to me. It'll happen a lot of the times where something I order will blow. I'm just like... Technically, we both did it because we both got we both the black lager, so your half pint is necessary it. for then my full pint to blow the tap. So, thank you. Now let's visit a locally owned family farm. Darnell Farms is the kind of place you see on travel vlogs chronicling agro-tourism. Today we're going to order our locally grown organic food hall online and then pick it up and show you guys the farm, which visitors are welcome to hang out One of the stops that you must come see when you're here is Darnell Farms, and Darnell Farms is a locally owned farm. They have all kinds of amazing vegetables. We're gonna do the drive-through today, so if you're staying here for long enough where you wanna cook a meal at home, it's definitely worth shopping here versus going to like an Ingalls, because you can get all kinds of local, <laughs> Bo's whining, all kinds of local veggies and meat um, to make some great peas, which is what we're gonna do today. Yes. And so, um, that was <laughs> She doesn't want to um, stay here. <laughs> so Darnell Farms, they, they do grow some things here in their own farm, mm -hmm. but they have, uh, they have like a bunch of variety of everything and they go to farmer's markets that are more like wholesale markets to pick up, you know, whatever stuff they don't make or grow themselves from other farms around that, you know, grow that kind of stuff. Point is, they have an awesome website. Um, you can place your we place our order online today. You can scroll through, see what kind of you know veg veggies they have, um, even dry goods, some um, meat and charcuterie. It, it's awesome. It's a really yeah. good bunch of stuff and great pricing as well. Very fairly priced. Yeah, I I think so, especially considering a lot of this stuff is organic and you're buying it from nearby. So if you're visiting. Why wouldn't you want to taste what the locals have to offer? It's off season right now uh, and we, we did want to make this video about what we would do because we're noticing that there are more and more tourists coming during these off seasons. So this is still a cool place to hang out today. Although it is the middle of February, we super lucked out. It's been very rainy like you saw in our last video, but it's... Today it's 56 degrees yeah, out. Yeah, which is insane. So <laughs> it was like really 18 nice. yesterday. <laughs> And you know, during the winter, it's not really, it, it's more of like, you know, drive through, pick up your order, go home. Um, we don't really step out of the car too often, but we really want to stay out this season. I know, you luck out <laughs> in off season. And during the warmer times of the year, uh, Darnell Farm is actually a cool spot to just hang out. There's a bunch of picnic tables which we'll show you. Um, you could sit by the river on a log, um, have a picnic, bring sandwiches, like they don't really have a lot of rules. So you could come here and enjoy the whole day, pick up the stuff you want to eat here, take home to make um, dinner, lunch, whatever it is. And um, yeah, we just lucked out that today we can do that during the winter, technically. Um, but you know, spring, summer, fall is the best time to kind of visit and enjoy the day. So, so we'll we'll come visit again, obviously, when it's warmer to show you guys what we mean and how cool it is. But um, for now, we're gonna walk you around and let Bo take out some of her energy before we make the drive-through to pick up our order. So, hope you enjoy it.
That's it. Here at Darnell Farms, <laughs> about to do the drive through. Apparently, I have this voice when I introduce the places that we're at and what we're about to do. So, we are about to pick up our order at Darnell Farms. That was weird. We are about to. Darnell Farms. We are about to. <laughs> do this for a fourth time. We're about to pick up our order at Darnell Farms. Um, so, okay. I'm gonna mask up too. Mask up! Since I'm gonna be responsible with COVID before I mask up so that you can hear me properly. Um, so I just showed you the outside of this adorable little building on Darnell Farms and it was where they had a shop. You can actually go in and shop for your produce. And obviously with COVID, that's been closed, so that's why there is a drive through right now. So if you come right now during this time, um, you might be looking at the drive through too, but hopefully this summer, as things start to get better um, around the country with COVID, you can actually come inside and see a little shop. Yeah. There we go. You can see some of the store from here. I got you on camera. You want to point to the store? Pointing. You can say something too. Something too. We're here at the store. <laughs> oh, they got the uh, Dream Dream Whips. Dream Whip. We didn't talk about Dream Whip. Dream Whip. Very important. I didn't realize they had them during the winter. Uh, they are a sweet sugary, delicious, creamy, smoothie type thing they make here. I would say it's definitely a summer drink, but clearly it's a year round thing. So if you're down for a cold, very sugary, sweet smoothie, come to Darnell Farms and order yourself a Dream Whip. Uh, it'll definitely be your full calorie intake for the day. <laughs> Good, how you doing? Good. What can I get for you? Um, we actually have an order to pick up. It's under Christina Green. Thank you. Chris Green, sorry, she told you that. I went with the formal Christina. Hopefully they figure it out. Who's Christina Green? Oh, okay. Very good. I'll take that. Oh, that looks fantastic. Look at those tomatoes. I'm excited. Are you excited? Veggies, Bo? Bo, <laughs> what are you doing? Look at this dog. Get your nose out of our food. Okay, so as Jaime puts our delicious food, which we're gonna make something awesome tonight, we're gonna stop by BCO, which is so a must if you're gonna come here. Bryson City Outdoors is a locally owned tap room and outdoor store. We're very close friends with the lovely locals who own this establishment. But we're not just saying this because they own it. This is actually a place we used to visit before we moved here. So we're really excited to take you guys and grab some craft beer. Yes, definitely my favorite place in town. We get from there. That's true. We'll take you with us. Our favorite spot in town is Bryson City Outdoors. BCO is our neighborhood cheers. We buy any outdoor supplies we need here for living life outside, and it's where the locals hang out. BCO holds a special place in our hearts, and we think it really captures the spirit of why so many people have moved their lives or frequently visit our little mountain town.
so for today's outro, it's just gonna be me and Bo. Um, we've had a really fun time having a staycation in Bryson City, and we're definitely gonna give you a few more videos on how we would spend our time if we were visiting Bryson City as we get into the spring and summer seasons. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you wanna keep following our journey to the mountains, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna keep seeing this pretty girl, is clearly getting camera shy. Subscribe. See you guys next week.